All right, guys, we're back. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Oh, I should have been worried. Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. She's a super biatch. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ninth-born. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? It's mm -hmm. true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is good enough for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Horny little Although, girl. Marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Joffrey? Bastard. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Fuck no. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Joffrey's... I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. <laughs> Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was... Rather disappointed by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Yeah. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You have a weird booby. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. We I bit. do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Yeah, fucking better. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Ask. Shit balls, I didn't know what to ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown... I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise, but my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks, and now you would have me ask him to intervene. 
Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. This chick shouldn't have stayed in the room. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. What do I say? You're the only one who can help me. Dope. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very beggary. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. That's what you say, lady. Huh. Interesting moves. Curious how that's, this is going to go down, because I feel like I'm double-crossing myself. Pretty bad moves. Seven hells. Ah, oh, seven hells. Why do they always say seven hells? I am loyal to have both of No, 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 stop, no, please, no, stop, no! Let's play a little game, shall we? Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. <laughs> Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. You're what was that? Crazy bastard. My lord? Shh! Listen. This is the dude that cut off the other guy's ball. There. Horse. Hear that? I know I heard something. Still? Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Well, I guess I won't look behind this tree right here. Shit's going on. Hey, dude. So, is your chest open? Bloody hell! Hey, scanned up. Hmm, that's not very nice. When is this cliffhanger gonna. Hmm. Episode 1. There's six episodes. It's kind of an epic little journey. In this. North. Lord Ethan. Oh no, back here. 
As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. And what would they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. Yeah. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Who should that be? Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Sisters watching. Lord Ethan. Mister. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! <laughs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I'm in a pickle. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. The yeah. time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. Calm yourself. You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. Hmm. We can send him to the war. Oh, this is quite difficult. My little sister. Great, what do I decide? Don't, don't go fast. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. What do I do? Take three fingers. Send them to the wall. Also. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief! He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. <laughs> My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Yeah, hopefully it pays off. Make a speech. The Lord's judgment. That was certainly unpleasant, but a Lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester. What do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone 
you nice. can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close Great. to you. I don't really like either of you fuckers. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make yeah, the yeah, right yeah. choice as Sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Get out of here. Who do I choose? Not that fucker. Not that fucker. Any of y'all bitches. Great, am I really? People. Food? Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've just demanded saying. food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. Yeah. My lord. How about these motherfuckers find more food? Stop being lazy. Talk to you. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. Slash and parry! Slash and parry! Again! Master. Master? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What's what is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be. We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Ha uh ha. -huh. Wisdom. Dropping wisdom bombs. Swords up! You can live, yeah? Fuck. Guess I'm going up this tower. points I just view it this is all I'm doing stupid I really just went up there to fucking look huh I feel like that was the extreme waste of time thank you now when I say parry get that sword out my lord are you now ready to name your sentinel 
Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. We got it. I wanted to have it be that one dude. Hopefully I choose the right guy. Hopefully. There's only possibilities there. So... What's appropriate here? All these guys look the same. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Obviously, Duncan. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. The other guy's a dickhead. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Apparently, the other guy's now, not happy with sentinel, that. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. A man may have two ears, but he cannot listen to two men talk at once. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. That's not gonna he would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. <laughs> yeah. Speak up, lady. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! <laughs> oh, shit balls. My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance, and try to reach a reasonable agreement. Hmm. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord yeah. Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. 
A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you? Guy, I'm just gonna... That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. <laughs> Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. <laughs> Biatch. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. Hmm. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan. Let me send Malcolm to Essos. I don't care. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. So many people I'm please. glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Interesting. Alrighty. Well, that happened. It's like the bat symbol with the chain, the the little um, what the hell is it called? The little thing falls up on the screen. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm gonna end this episode. We'll catch you guys next. Peace.